I had a conversation again with somebody halfway around the world. I knew it when I first met him. I said, wow, this guy has an excellent broadcast voice. I wonder why he's not in broadcast. And as fate would have it, I said, how can I make you happy? And he says, you know, people tell me I have a good voice. I said, no, you don't have a good voice. You have a great voice. And so he said, so what can I do about it? You know, to make it relevant. I said, well, simple. Put yourself in a podcast. And he says, how do I do that? So we talked about the possibility of doing something in a simple manner without having to set up a whole station. But I told him, more important than just having a nice voice is do you have a message? And if you look here, see where my finger's pointing? It says, opinion. Do you have a short sentence, a little phrase, a statement about anything? Or are you a parrot that recites everything you could read in the thesaurus, in Google, or in the encyclopedia of yesteryears. Arr, don't do that. That's so boring. Boring. Okay. So I told him, you are witty and wise. You are a conversationalist. And that's what I do. I write for opinion. Notice what it says? We take a stand. We take a stand. And my column is called Candid Conversations. Like this. Well, it's going to be a conversation when you tell me what you think, okay? So put it somewhere there in the comment area. Why? Come on. Why not? Well, you can join me here. We can set a date sometime. That's possible. And let's have fun. Now, over here, farther here, it says show and tell. That's a show I've had on TV, teleradio, which is television and radio at the same time, and on radio and online streaming since, what's that, 2009, long before we ever heard of Zoom. What's my point? Remember show and tell? That's what we used to do as kids in kindergarten. Hi, this is my pet rock, pet rock. Back in kindergarten, we knew how to tell stories. And what happened? What happened? We went to school and then realized whatever it is we said or did, it wasn't hmm, not quite good enough. And then we decided to zip it, not show. <sighs> not tell, and worst of all, not have an opinion. Something worth thinking about. Help me understand that. That is face to face. You save it for another day. Think about this. Why are people so brave when it's online? Ah, look at all their comments. As a matter of fact, there is such a thing called bashing. I don't like that. Let's be kind. Let's be nice. Let us learn how to disagree without being disagreeable. You like that? How to disagree without being disagreeable. That's how to have an opinion. Right? You can actually tell me I don't agree. Okay, fine. You're entitled to your opinion. But I will find you not so likable if you say, I don't agree. <laughs> okay? Okay. Why are you so angry? There. Food for thought. Why do people have to get so angry and get so ugly when they don't agree? Just say, I don't agree. And this is what I think. See? It's much cuter. So I'm going to... Zip it for now because 
It's Cinderella time again. I love these midnight moments halfway around the world in what seems to be a wrong time zone, but it's the right time zone for me. Who's to tell me what's the wrong time zone? I'm on Zoom. I'm recording and I'm sending you some of my thoughts and a lot of my heart. I'll see you soon. Love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah.